lovely birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Planet Coaster Fright Nights at Nightfall. So as you can tell, I did a little bit of decorating just to make the front of this shack look a little bit spooky and also a little bit Halloween because, you know, I, as I said before, I love Halloween and so it's only fair that we give it what it needs. So Halloween it is. And there is even a raven perched upon there just to maybe spook people as they enter or exit. So those are some of the changes I made. And also, thanks to Big Daddy Joe, he suggested in the comments that we add ourselves a coaster so we can generate some funds and that's been working beautifully we've been making so much money from this thing people say it's expensive but is it really that expensive how many people are in the queue oh maybe it is <laughs> never mind all right we're gonna go to maybe 22 bucks maybe that's gonna be fair enough for them and then we maybe hopefully we'll be earning some funds it seems like these two are still doing well i mean we're still earning money so i think that's good it's still okay for us so buildings all right so we are working on buildings and namely the downtown area i figured that uh, usually ghost towns look like old western places so I pulled out the only two old western or I should, I should just say western western buildings that are in the game we have the one here with Tiki Tiki and the ATM and we have here another one with the ATM so I mean we'll, we'll save these um, Tiki Tiki and the ATMs just because we're going to be able to use them but for now it's just a matter of building new buildings so what I have here is a corner building it's really weird because it's in two pieces here. We have this uh, this building part here. Actually, it's three buildings. Wow, lovely. Gotta love it. I'll uh, join it all under one as a blueprint uh, soon enough. But for now, we're still working on building this guy up. So yeah, corner building. I decided to leave this area wide open just because, of course, we can... Uh, can use this for some other stuff. I'm actually considering considering removing these pieces and actually opening this up with a... Let's see with one of our arches or with one of these pieces. I mean, that might work out well for us as well, but we do have arches here that we can use. Hmm, it's tempting. Let's try that. Let's just try it just in case it works out well for, uh oh, actually, no, I need to undo that just because I kind of need these pieces to be here. So I can edit these uh, little building pieces and actually add our arches. So let's see, our color here that we're using is 3F3626 because it looks brownish and it also looks gray and I kind of really like that. So let's go ahead and swap that over, put that in there, and now we can probably go ahead and delete this. Oh, I can't delete that. Delete that. Okay, what just happened? That's not really what I meant to do. Edit and then delete that piece. And do we still have our arch? No, apparently I placed the arch somewhere over here, you guys. Oh boy, that's a little bit weird. That's a little bit awkward that I p placed that over there. But you know what? I can now move it. And now we can... Oh, is this grid a little bit too big? That might just be the case. Aha! I was like, hmm, that's a little bit weird. No, actually, I want that back. Thank you. I want to move this and move it... You. You! All right, no wonder we had building seven. Apparently these two do not align at all. All right, so let's get rid of that one. Edit building seven, and we're gonna add our little haunted arch over here. And something like, uh, can I move back? No, that's it? All right, fine, that works for me. So let's delete that, edit, or get done with that, and edit this one and remove that, and well, it looks weird, but it works, right? <laughs> it, it kind of works. I mean, this is uh, a little bit of a piece here. And why is this, uh, hmm. Well, whatever. It works, and that's all that matters to me right now. It's not exactly on a proper grid, but hey, <laughs> nobody asks for it to be on a proper grid. Or maybe I did, but whatever. Or, you know, alternatively, we can use these pieces here to make it look not so sketchy, but are we going to really end up with an arch here? Because I don't think that's going to happen. Hmm, let's see. Oh, a little bit of a doorway. That might be better. We can always use a door there if it works out well for us. Oh, that is not the piece that I wanted. Can I actually select that one? Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, and I don't know if we have to edit. Oh, we can just edit this here and grab it right here. Nice. All right, so we can do that. I think I like that one better, honestly, you guys. The way I'm looking at it, I'm just like, hmm, this doesn't look half bad. All right, so there we go. We have our shell, basically, of this first building here. And I could have sworn, I was just looking at pictures of the ghost towns and things like that. Because when I saw one just like this, maybe that's where my inspiration for this came from. I want to see like what else it looked like. Aha! Okay, so it did have a door kind of sort of like that, so that works for me. However, it also had a little bit of a window over here. So let's see what kinds of windows we have here that we can maybe use. Of course, I don't want just the spooky pack ones because maybe we'll find something that's western or wooden or something that we can use to actually suffice. Something old and worn. That's basically all I'm looking for. Old and worn, which I think maybe the abandoned house windows are going to do. Hmm... 
Ooh, an animatronic door. Hello. Oh, this is way too big, actually. I was like, hmm, maybe we can use that. No, it's actually massive. <laughs> it is absolutely massive. Maybe, though, we can add it over here. Let's see. Let's not align to surface, and we can probably just, um, huh. I don't know if I can, uh, let's see, X, can we actually rotate it out this way? Oh man, this position snap is a little bit weird, but kind of cool because it actually helps me align things a little bit better. I don't know why I haven't been using it before. All right, so this door is a little bit too small, so I guess we're just going to leave that wide open, and it'll be a shop in here where people can actually buy something. They'll even put the Tiki Cheeky in there just to make it more useful. So uh, let's see, abandoned house windows. We have, Let's just edit this building here so we can actually add things to it. So we can go for abandoned house windows. Those look a little bit spooky, and that's what I've been using so far. However, I think I want bigger windows here. What are these? Um, not actually fitting this. How about these? Ooh, okay, I think those are gonna do. I mean, these are, oh, these are actually a lot smaller than I thought. For some reason, I thought these were massive windows, but apparently that's not the case here. Ooh, a jail? Jail? <laughs> we could go for that, but I don't think that's gonna help at all. And of course, we have our fairy tale windows over here. Of course, that's also gonna help. Hmm. Metal window balcony. I mean, that would be cool, but I don't think that works for this as well. Yeah, we're going to use those creepy looking, uh, what was it, this one or was it this one? No, it wasn't this one. It was this one. Ah, uh -huh. just like that. Ew, is this a position snap? It is. Oh, man. Oh, position snap. You annoy me. Well, whatever. Those windows work, so I'm going to leave it as is. And I guess we're using position snap just so we can get these here as well. There we go. All right. And let's add a few more windows in the back just because, of course, this is a shop and it should look a little bit proper. So let's see. We're going to do ourselves a window there, window there, and maybe one smack dab in the middle. Of course, there is not a smack dab in the middle. So we can probably just go for that. It's fine. It's totally fine. All right. That works for me. We have a window type of building here. It's obviously not nice like that one. But, of course... This is an abandoned place. I mean, this makes sense. And also, we can, you know, go ahead and add some curtains if we wanted to. But I think curtains here are a little bit inappropriate. Maybe we can add a gravestone there somehow. <laughs> that's weird. And we can add lit curtains and everything like that. We can add some signs if we really wanted to. But, I mean, that's also pretty strange. So, we're just going to leave it a blank window because that works for us. All right. So, now what we have to do is add ourselves the shop that we want. So, I do want this Tiki Cheeky. Maybe I can actually separate it from this building somehow. So, let's see. Select building. Edit. I want that Tiki Cheeky, man. Give me the Tiki Cheeky. Um, I can't remember how it was that I actually separated things from buildings now. <laughs> oh, boy. Gotta love it when I actually forget how to do things. Oh, we don't even need this, do we? Well, whatever. I'm going to leave it. How do I... Oh, how do, ah, split from building. There we go. I was like, I'm pretty sure we were able to do that before. Okay, so I want to actually click on this and split it from the building. And now we can probably... Can I actually grab it, please? Is this split from the building? Oh, it is. Nice. All right. So I do want to add it to this building here, though. So let's see, can I actually add, oh man, I'm gonna have to do something else. Wait, what? Dude, I just placed it there, oh man, game, what are you doing? Apparently it won't let me edit to this building and it won't even let me place it. Oh, there we go, I was like, that's a little bit weird. All right, so we want to go ahead and edit building six and can we actually add this somehow? Hmm, yeah, it still won't let me for some reason. All right, give me just a second. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to figure this out, but for now it's just not exactly working out super well for us.
right, so we have our first-ish building. I say ish because, well, this isn't exactly how I wanted it to look, especially since I'm going to have to remove part of this roof here anyway because I do want to put another building right next door to it. And this here sticks out a little bit too much for my liking, so I am going to change things up eventually. But for now, we have our very first tiki somewhere in there. And it's already working, so that's actually quite nice. And I did actually have to delete the one that was here instead and place a new one. I guess you guys all saw that in a little bit of a speed through the, the speed build there. But, uh, well, that was it. And let's go ahead and now delete this. Even though we're going to need that again, but whatever. I don't want to actually be spending... I want to spend the money, okay? To actually run these things right now. I will leave this here, though, because this is still on that grid that I need so badly to make sure that we can build our other buildings here soon. But another thing that I want to get started on right now is actually building some more stuff. So, yes, the face. <laughs> oh, the face. Can I get rid of this tree? Oh, I can't get rid of this tree. Thank goodness. Hey, some more money. Thanks, free money. I always appreciate that. All right, there we go. Free money. Nice. All right, so what I want to do is I actually want to get started on building our path further out this way. So we won't just be working on just the downtown area at once. We'll also be working on everything else that we need here. Why? Because sometimes a variety is the spice of life. And by sometimes, I mean most of the time. So let's go ahead and actually bring our path out to here. Seems like we did it to 20, right? We did. All right, and I do want to actually bring out our uh, big size here so we can actually make the paths long enough. I think that's pretty straight there, so I'm going to go for... Eesh. It's, it's difficult to actually try to keep straight. Hey, why does it always do that? It always tries to curve out. Like, no, 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 no. That's not how I want this. All right, so let's try to bring it out straight just like that. There we go. That's what I like to see. All right, so bring it out to... Well, this will lead kind of sort of through the Haunted Woods, maybe. I'm not entirely sure if that's how I want it, but... If it works that way, then it works that way. If not, then, well, we can try something else. So let's see. Is this going to be straight out this way? Please stop trying to connect. Seriously. All right. We can make it, you know, deviate a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely straight. But I, I prefer it that way just because it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. But there we go. All right. So that's... Yeah, it's, it's, it seems to separate a little bit more as we go through here. But that makes some sense. Especially since we're going to be separating these paths into two different areas. So this works. I like it. All right, so our haunted woods. Now, of course, it's going to be a completely different thing compared to all the downtown area. It's going to be like, what, old, old west type thing, and then we're going to end up in like a woody, woodsy cabin area. So I will actually build cabins in the woods. However, these cabins are going to have either rides, if it's like a bigger cabin, because I do intend on adding a few rides into the woods, or, of course, shops, because we need that. So let's see, what kinds of trees do we have? We have, obviously... <laughs> The topiary. I don't want to use that. I can use rocks eventually, but I don't really want to focus on that too, too much. We do have these floral creepers. What do these look like? I've, I've not actually taken a really good... No. They are way too bright and way too small for this, so never mind. Bushes. We can probably end up using some of these bushes and whatnot, but I don't think that's going to be our main thing here. And ultimately trees. So what kinds of trees do we have? We have these tiny trees here that are very, very green. We have these taller trees, which are kind of cool, but I not really am not particular to that. These, these might be the ones, you guys, because, oh, there we go. I like the ones that have like the longer, um, longer trunks. I think that just looks cooler. And, oh, or we could go for a swamp type thing. This gives me a lot of ideas, however, I do want to make sure that we have enough room on which guests can walk, and if we just do like a swamp throughout, it's going to be a little bit weird. <laughs> snowy trees, yes, totally. Let's go for that. Let's make a snowy woods, why not? So we have the short palms there, the rhododendron right there, the emperor maple. Hmm, that one's a little bit too autumn-y for me, although this is, you know, that type of park. Aha! The Ponderosa Pine. Here we go. I think I'm going to go for this instead of the Swamp Trees just because this has a few variations in terms of size and I like how tall they are. Yep, that's what it is. We are going to go for the Ponderosa Pine even though it might not look too creepy. It will work exa for exactly what we need it to be. I mean, the Douglas Fir Trees do look nice and the Joshua Tree, that's uh, not really going to work out super well for us. So we can do maybe a mixture of the Marula Trees and the Ponderosa Pines. Of course, this is our own blend of forest, I suppose we can call it, and we'll even add a dead tree or two just to make it look extra creepy, and yeah, I don't think any of these other trees are tall enough for this. Could maybe go for, you know, the beech trees look a little bit too nice. So yeah, there we go, we have our trees, so let's go ahead and get started with that. We are going to go ahead and grab ourselves our, um, 
ponderous pines. Let's start with the very, very tall ones just because. So our woods are going to extend right along the way here. They're going to be pretty big, pretty sizable if I do say so myself. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sprinkle trees along here. I really wish I had a tree brush or something like that because that would make this a lot easier. We're going to sprinkle trees along this area. I did highlight it for a reason so we know exactly where we're going to need our trees. And I mean, we can just uh, do the bigger trees on the outside first. And just do it here. Then we'll like dot the areas in between all of these with the much smaller trees just because I figure it'll work better that way. So let's do something like this. Of course, these areas are going to spill out a little bit into these other areas. So we can also do a little bit of spillage if we really, really wanted to. Also, I'm thinking that these trees are going to cost us a ton of money. So we're going to have to collect some more money at some point. And I really hope these trees don't cost too, too much money to run per month or to, I guess, maintain per month. I don't know. All right. So let's go ahead and grab our smaller, slightly smaller trees and start dotting the way here. As you can tell, this forest is going to be pretty dense. And later on, we'll just start moving trees as we need so we can actually fit in well, the paths and everything else that we need, but the main part is actually getting the forest nice and thick and varied. So we're gonna, it looks like I'm maybe putting too many trees of the same kind over there, so I'm gonna just go back over here and make sure that this looks absolutely beautiful. There we go, all right. So we have quite a few of these ponderosa pines. I suppose we're gonna go for some of the smaller ones now just to make sure that we, um, we have, of course, different sized trees. Otherwise, it's going to look a little bit too similar. This is why I want to use different types of trees, too, because I don't want the similarity to just make it look kind of meh. And so we're going to have some dead trees, some of these trees, etc., etc. So there we go, something like that. And I do want to add some over here, even though we have tons of trees already over here, but that's okay. If there are any floating trees, I will remove them later on. Of course, it's not my main issue right now. My main issue is just getting the trees down and making a very thick woods. So something just like that. There we go. All right. So our next tree, did I say I was going to use oak trees or are these two? Meh, meh. They're not too creepy. They're not creepy enough. I did say that I was going to use the marula tree. So we have these little, little baby marula trees, which I don't like at all. I do, however, like these a little bit better and these kind of, sort of. I, I don't know how I feel about these. I'm, I might use them. Ooh, oh, look at how cute and small the maple trees are. That's so adorable. Okay, yeah, we're not, definitely not using those. <laughs> They're way too small for our application here. So yeah, different trees. There we go. Some of the marula trees all throughout just to add a little bit of difference. Because now you can see, and it's not just a little bit of a, a same type thing. Like it adds a different color, it adds different uh, heights and things like that. It's perfect. Did that one just fly? I thought it was flying. Hmm. I might have to change some things about the surface just to keep it uh, working for us. But this should be okay, you guys. All right, so now it's just a matter of lining. Oh, gosh, that one fell down. I mean, we can have some trees that fall down. That wouldn't be much of an issue because trees do fall down in the forest, right? So we can have that. But, yeah, I don't want to, you know, bore you guys with just making this forest here. So let me go ahead and fill this out a little bit more. I'm not going to complete it today because, of course, I'm going to need the... Uh, the fresh creativity of a new brain. When I look at this at a different, and uh, during a different episode, I'm gonna be like, hmm, I probably should have done this differently, and then I'll make it even better. That's how things work. And hey, if you guys have any ideas, I'm always willing to accept them. So please share with me your ideas. If you know of, you know, any tr nice trees in the, uh, or nice clumps of trees, I suppose, in the workshop, please link them in the comments below, because I greatly appreciate that. Okay, so please do that, and hopefully we'll end up with a very beautiful forest woods i guess it's just supposed to be a woods not a forest the forest will be much more beautiful than this i'm not quite yet done with the woods but i had to actually sit here and collect some money because well <laughs> i spent a ton of money on the tree so maybe now is not a good idea to continue our woods we'll, of course do them later on it's already looking semi-creepy especially with this uh oh my gosh look at that it just looks really creepy this one doesn't look as creepy but i love just how tall they are sundown oh well whatever we did also complete our challenge with our senior reading because, of course, now we have senior reading of 62. So, yeah, probably it's, it's now a good time to stop with quote unquote decorating just because the next challenge that we get in terms of scenery is going to make things a little bit complicated. So, instead, let's go ahead and add more scenery. <laughs> I know, I know, what? but that doesn't make any sense. I know. Do I ever make sense, you guys? Do I ever? All right, so what I want to do is I actually want to lay out the area here for our kids' rides. Of course, this area is looking a little bit uneven because we have the woods further out over here, but I will extend the woods further in here and then further out there just to make it look a little bit better you know things are never gonna be perfect but it'll work and i actually kind of want to get rid of this because the face is now creeping me out a little bit too much so let's see let's go ahead and grab our um was it mud it was like this mud here there we go Whew. 
Okay, get rid of this creepy stuff here because I am a little bit too creeped up now. now. Whew, there we go. Nice, nice. Alright, so good. We got rid of that face and now this just looks like, um... Well, like nothing in particular, honestly. Let me just remove that one as well. And I did want to keep that... Oh, a new challenge. Nice. I did want to keep that just like that. Alright, so what's our new challenge here? Achieve a park rating of... But... Ah, fine. We'll get there soon. Ugh, I feel like it always does that. Alright, so, our road will actually, like, split after this pumpkin patch because we want to make sure that the area for the children is actually very, very safe and not so creepy. So let's take a look at our rides. What do we have here that would be safe for children but also a little bit spooky? Well, the hyperspin actually looks spooky because it's like a carnival ride but darkish. So maybe we could go for that one, but it's really not the best thing for us. And of course, we do have this one here with our witch. So we can make a little bit of a witch place where the witch is maybe guiding our, um, our pumpkin carving or whatever the pumpkin patch is for, or pumpkin picking. But maybe we could do a little bit better, you guys. Maybe we can go and do some research and see what kinds of rides we can get from this. Because, of course, I've not yet seen all the rides that are available here. Backbone of the West. Yeah, that sounds like a train. I don't really want that. An Eccentric Classic. Sure, you know what? We're going to go ahead and actually start with our research of family rides. That we can get some more stuff. And it's sad that we can't actually research more of them, but whatever. And do we want any of this stuff? I mean, maybe we want the information kiosk because that's going to earn us a little bit more money. But let's be real right now. We are earning enough money that we probably won't need that. Right, so... Back to rides. You can probably go for one of these. These aren't that exciting and they are a little bit creepy. I mean, if we want a witch's lair, this is probably the best one to go with for this area. So sure, I mean, we could do the Jailer's Den, but this one makes no sense. So I think we're going to go for this one. And we're going to, of course, make this maybe on the... Uh, I want to swap... Okay, there we go. Maybe we can make this, like... Ooh! Ooh la la! Okay, I kind of like my idea here. It's a little bit weird, but I'm gonna have to move this road further up then and split it later on. Like, maybe split it around this. Because, of course, this right at the base of the woods makes it so that it's like her woods, the witch's woods. Oh, yes, do I like that. All right, so let's go back to our path, and we're now gonna start removing pieces here, even though I didn't really want to. But it's gonna make sense in the long run. All right, let's see. Excuse me? That's not what I want here. And let's just change this back to one so it'll stop yelling at me like that. And we're going to have to remove a little bit more just to get what we want. Alright, so let's see. Track rides. The Witch's Haunt. Is it going to fit here now? It does, and it's kind of in the woods, but I guess that's kind of the point of it. And I guess by looking at this, we can probably go ahead and use those red trees just because it looks right. So, um, where exactly is the entrance to this thing? That's one of the questions I have right now. Aha! It's over on this side, so we can have this towards the back. I mean, it still works, technically. We can have the gates just like that. I think I want to remove some more of the path just so we can move this up a little bit more. It'll work better that way. So let's just do something like that. There we go. And grab our ride once more. Oh, it's a track ride, isn't it? Alright, so... Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. And we have our gates right there. Let's try to align this with the path just to make sure. So something like that. Sure, works for me. And I think this is far enough back. Yeah, it's just barely on the woods. Not bad. All right, so there we go. We have that going for us. And now we have a ride here that's, well, kind of lame, but kids are going to love it. And other people are going to love it as well. And that's a good start for us. All right, so let's uh, connect this up. And there's our exit. Hmm, it's not really aligned, but I guess that's fine. Let's grab our creepy path here and bring this down, apparently. Oh, that's a little bit too wide for me. Never mind. Let's uh, switch that out. There we go. Bring this down and, of course, bring it all the way through here. Oh, this is going to be a very short queue, isn't it? Well, I guess that's fine. All right, so this is where these paths will actually diverge. So we're going to maybe go this way around and then the other way. So let's just do something like this. Bring it out a little bit further just because I don't want to actually connect with this like straight on. And we can with the middle path there that we have from the ride. But for this, I'm just going to bring it out there. We can delete it later on if it's not actually right. And this one here, let's bring it out to something like that. There we go. All right, that's a little bit longer, but whatever. Okay, so middle path converging here with these two other ones. I hope this works. Let's see if we can actually do something with this. Um, bring it maybe like... Uh, there and from here to there it's a little bit wonky looking maybe not there exactly how about right here Ooh, okay yeah yeah yeah. it's oh man it's not curvy enough though yeah i don't think it's ever gonna get curvy enough all right let me just bring this down to aha uh -huh, i see why i see the problem why it's because this one is just way too close to this that's okay i guess and let's just do this here and let's yeah it's just never gonna look the same 
Well, that's fine with me. I mean, it's, it's going to work either way, so, like, whatever. <laughs> Just whatever. Can I actually get this going? No, I can't. Well, sure. Or we could, you know, just move this over a little bit, but I really don't think that's, that's one of our issues here. That should be what we are dealing with, basically. I want to do something different then, because that's just not okay with me. Let's bring this out to... Ooh! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I want to do this. Make little paths here, just so people won't be walking all on the same path. That way we give them more room. And let's see, I want to actually bring... A, mm. Man, do I hate working with paths sometimes. Pathing is always annoying. No matter the game, you guys. No matter the game, pathing is annoying. All right, let's do that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side-ish. Let's do that. Is that a little bit too close for comfort? It looks like it's a little too close for comfort. This one's going down. Oh, whatever. It doesn't work. It doesn't matter. It doesn't work either, but whatever. All right, there we go. So we have our paths in and out. We do want to connect these over here just to make sure that people can get to the ride immediately. And we'll change things up again as we go along. All right, there we go. And now for finally our entrance here. Let's make a short little queue along the way here just so we can maybe grab a few more people. That is way too close. Let's do this here and bring it down somewhere along the way over here. I do want to bring this... I can bring it down there. No, that's not exactly work out well for us. All right, if we do this, we could... Ew, ew, what the heck? Um, hmm. Well... <laughs> well, we have that. That's an option. I, not really an option I'm proud of, but it's an option. <laughs> Can I go back a little bit more and actually sink it there? Okay, there we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. Nice. All right, so now I can bring it out to here and actually connect it just like that. So much better, you guys. So there we go. We have a new ride, and this one is going to cost us... Ooh, 100% senior rating. Nice. It's called The Huntsman? No, it's called The Witch's Haunt. All right, so this one... 15 bucks? 15 bucks? Are you kidding me? Okay, 15 bucks it is. And, well, now we have something at the end of our trail that leads to our woods. And this is why I said that, you know, nothing is actually set in stone. Things can happen along the way, and suddenly we'll find new reasons to add different things. So let's just test this guy out so we can open it soon, and we'll have... I guess we'll have people coming over here now? Oh, it doesn't sound like a good idea, but I do want to see... Uh, well, I do want to get it ready for being open. Uh-oh. A few rides lost their new ride status, which means that we might not be able to charge as much money as we have been for them, which is going to suck. All right, so let's see. This ride is... Hmm. It's one of those rides. I mean, it's short, so we can probably get a lot of money from it, and it's actually kind of lame, so that works for me, and it's already tested, so the next time that we want to open it, we can just go ahead and pop it open. Right, so there we go. Our first new ride that actually leads us to our wood. Suddenly we're getting a story going, and that's exactly what I like. So, the next thing that we're going to have to do then is actually work on the pumpkin patch just so we can get it kind of right here. Especially since we now have this. And I guess it'll be maybe the witch's pumpkin patch and naughty kids steal from the witch's pumpkin patch. Thinking that they're being cute and everything like that. But no, no, no. The witch is not happy with that at all. She's going to go and bite them or eat them, I guess. That's, that's what witches do, right? That's what fairy tale witches do, I should say. They eat the children that are very naughty. But we'll get to that point in the next episode, because that is it for this episode of Planet Coaster, Fright Nights at Nightfall. Speaking of nightfall, <laughs> there we go. If you enjoyed, hit that like button to show your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.